Okay, let's talk Siri. Apple's voice assistant is still far from perfect, more than 10 years after it was released, but it is constantly improving and it can actually do more than you might realize. That's why for this video, I've compiled 10 of the most useful things that Siri can do that I reckon a lot of people have absolutely no idea about. I'm running this on an iPhone 13 Pro here in the UK on iOS 15.4.1 and I totally understand that not every single feature is going to work on every phone and in every country, but hopefully most of these will work for you. Stick with me to the end of the video, I've included an extra bonus tip that I think Harry Potter fans are really going to get a kick out of. Okay, let's get into it. My dad often calls me if he's struggling with his tech and recently he called me saying that his iPhone screen had gone dark and he couldn't get it to go bright again. Long story short, he'd accidentally set his brightness to pretty much zero and was struggling to see the screen to be able to set it back to its normal brightness. Now, for many people, especially those who don't have the best eyesight, this can be a real problem. Thankfully, the quickest and easiest way to fix this is to trigger Siri and simply say, set my screen brightness to 100%. And just like that, Siri will fully reinstate your screen brightness. It works the other way also. You can say, set my screen brightness to 50%, or you can be less specific and just say something like, make my screen brighter, for example. It also works for audio volume, just in case you're interested. Have you ever been explaining something to someone or someone to someone and you just wanted to be able to quickly show them a photo of that thing or that person to help illustrate your point? But in the time it takes to open your phone up, open Safari, type in the search term, then scroll through the images, the moment can quickly come and go if you're not careful. Thankfully, Siri can help. Simply activate Siri and say, show me photos of Nicolas Cage. And there you go, some photos of Nicolas Cage or say, show me photos of long-haired miniature dachshund puppies, and there you go, cuteness overload on your home screen. Or show me photos of Hackney. Or show me photos of a 2022 Ford F-150. I'm assuming that what's happening behind the scenes is a Google image search, which would probably explain why I've struggled to find anything that catches this out, but definitely a much easier way of showing someone something than having to mess around with the manual method. Another example of something that you can do, but it's often easier to get Siri to do for you, is to take a screenshot, especially if you're someone who finds the current method of holding multiple iPhone buttons at the same time challenging. As a general reminder, you can take a screenshot on your iPhone by holding the power button and the volume up button together at the same time. If you're using an iPhone with the home button, it's the power button and the home button at the same time. Or activate Siri and simply say, take a screenshot. Siri will oblige, and you've got the screenshot visible in the bottom of your screen, just as you would if you'd done it the other way. Your phone has a service called Shazam built into it. This used to be a standalone app up until Apple purchased it back in 2018. You can access it by having it appear as an option in your control center, and then when you're out and about and you hear a song that you like, but you've no idea who sings it or what the song is called, you can tap the icon and hold your phone out to let your iPhone listen to and identify the song for you. But easier than that is to ask Siri to identify it for you. Simply trigger Siri and say, what song is this? and Siri will have a listen and then get back to you with the name of the song and the artist. I mentioned this in a recent reminders video, but I think it's worth discussing here as well. You can have Siri remind you about things that you're doing on your phone at a specific time. For example, if you're browsing Safari and you'd like to be reminded of the page that you're looking at, simply activate Siri whilst you've got the page open in Safari and say, remind me about this in 20 minutes, or remind me about this later, or whatever time frame works for you. A reminder will be created, complete with a link to the site. Same with email. Here I am viewing an email and I've got the email fully open on my phone. I think this is an important step in making this work. And I'm gonna say, remind me about this tomorrow and the reminder is created. This doesn't work all over iOS. It seems to mainly work for a select bunch of first party apps. So I've been able to get it to work with emails in Apple Mail, web pages in Safari, locations in Maps, and notes in, well, notes. 
I have also been able to get this to work in Chrome, although the reminder that's created has a Safari link, which, yeah, classic Apple. You can ask Siri to let you know how many days it is until a specific date, and for particularly well-known dates like major religious festivals, simply saying the name of the festival will usually be enough. So for example, you can trigger Siri and ask how many days until Christmas, or how many days until Chinese New Year. Or if you've got a vacation booked, you could ask something like how many weeks until September 23rd, and Siri can help you with your all important planning. You can have Siri translate for you, which is of course extremely useful if you're traveling or just generally trying to communicate with somebody in a language that you're unfamiliar with. There is a dedicated translation app on your iPhone, which is excellent, but the Siri integration is really good and makes the whole process extremely easy. Simply activate Siri and ask, how do you say good morning, how are you in Mandarin, for example? In Mandarin Chinese, good morning, how are you is 早上好,你好吗? Or, how do you say, could you please give me directions to the train station in Spanish? In Spanish, could you please give me directions to the train station is... ¿Podrías darme indicaciones para llegar a la estación de tren, por favor? The trick here seems to be to begin each request with how do you say, and then speak the exact phrase that you'd like to have translated, and include in whatever language you'd like at the end of the phrase. If you're out for dinner and you've got a bill that needs splitting, Siri makes this process extremely easy for you, provided you ask Siri in the correct way. Simply trigger Siri and say split a bill of £68.17 between three people, for example, and Siri will split the bill, showing you what each person needs to pay, along with 10, 15 and 20% tips. If you just want to know the tip amount, simply trigger Siri and say what's a 20% tip on a £68.17 bill for example and Siri will give you the breakdown. This functionality requires a slight tweak to the settings but I'll show you exactly what you need to do. You can have Siri read a selection of text like an email or an article to you but this is a feature that you need to switch on, it's not on by default. To activate this, head into Settings, then Accessibility, then Spoken Content, and ensure that you have Speak Selection switched on. With this switched on, anytime you're in a document, or an email, or a site, simply select a passage of text like you usually would, and then choose Speak. Siri will then begin reading the content out to you, and you can activate Siri at any time and say Stop to have Siri stop. Elon Musk has made an offer to buy Twitter with a bid that values the company at $43.4 billion, vowing to unlock the potential of the social media platform by taking it private. Your iPhone's flash can double as a torch, which I'm sure you already knew, and you typically access it by going to your control center and choosing the torch. But you can ask Siri to do it for you by simply saying torch on or torch off accordingly. Helpful, right? But a fun little trick for you aspiring wizards out there is to say Lumos to switch the torch on and Nox to switch the torch off. If you've got kids who are Harry Potter fans, let me know in the comments how you get on with this one. So there you go, 10 genuinely useful Siri commands plus a bonus one. What about you? What Siri commands are you using all the time that I've not included here? Drop me a comment and let's talk about it. And as ever, if you found this video useful, do please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. See you on the next video.